Hello. Hi. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. And if you are here for the first time, welcome. My hair um generally looks like shit. If you didn't know, if you haven't been here before, my hair never looks good. But that's fine. I don't do anything in my hair. So today, I've been really trying to figure out what I wanted to film. Because I've kind of been gone from like, for like a week or so. I mean, I just threw up a couple of random videos here and there. Just trying to, like, I guess, be like, I'm still here. I'm still caring about you guys but today I've been getting asked about this a lot to like sit down and do like a favorites video I'm not gonna be applying anything today because your girl's skin just needs a break I think like it's looking good finally right now so I just don't want to make it I don't want to upset it we were rocking our bags under our eyes and our disgusting hair that needs to be washed but that's fine I'm gonna just try to jump right in I'm going to try not to make like a 45 minute long video today, but I'm not making any promises. I will do my best. So we're going to start with like skincare and then we'll go to makeup. But this is not like a monthly favorite. These are like my all time, holy grail, favorite things in the world. So uh, for starters, I want to talk about my face wash because we're doing skincare. There's a hair on it. But anyway, I use this Skin Kick face wash. It is like a two step process. It has like a blemish thing I don't really use it but I love this face wash like it's like a scrub but it feels really good it doesn't feel like too abrasive I don't use it with my uh, Michael Todd face scrubber brush what is it called a sauna clear I didn't bring that in here and I should have because I use it to take off my makeup I use like a makeup remover wash and then my sauna clear to help pull the makeup off and then I go in with this and wash my face um yeah, this is my fave. So, I just want to mention though that this video is not sponsored, but if any of these brands want to sponsor me, a bitch is going to take it. She's going to do it. So, <laughs> if any of these brands on here want to sponsor me, hey, hey, hello, I will take your sponsorships. Thanks. But anyway, so this guy is my fave. The brand did send this to me for free, and they're actually about to send me some more because I'm running out of this, but I just love it. It makes my skin look nice. I like it. So then, another thing that I'm super into is my Ofer Cosmetics Energizing Elixir. This little thing, you, it goes all the way to the bottom down here, and it goes up as you use it, and we've used about this much. That's a bunch. But it is a toner, so after I wash my face, I squirt this on a little cotton pad and just tone my face real nice. I love it. It's amazing. It just really, it's like a recharging is what it says, facial toner. It keeps my skin moisturized because most toners have a really high alcohol content and they make my skin really dry and gross. And this doesn't do that. And I love it. And it's great. And it really helps to get everything outside of my pores if I didn't get everything off. And I use it because sometimes I feel like I don't get all the soap off my face because I use so many different products to wash it. But that really helps me feel like everything is gone and makes everything look smooth and nice. So yeah, that's, that's another one of my faves in my steps. And then this is what I use every night when I go to bed. It's the name of the brand is this. I use their CC cream as well. And it is the Bamboo Water Lock Face Mask. It's very gooey, very similar concept of the Thirsty Mud from Glam Glow, except it's cheaper. It smells really good in a weird way. Like I don't know how to explain how it smells. It smells like skincare. But... You, it only takes literally I'm gonna put some on, this much on your finger and this is enough for like this whole part of my face like I'll put it on like this now this is one of those that you can leave it and it will soak in overnight which is really what I do like I leave it on my skin especially in the spots like around my mouth that I'm really dry and literally I'm just like doop touching my finger in there and I've used that's a lot and I've had this for months but it lasts a really long time because you don't need that much and I just put it all over my face like so and that was all that and what you can do is leave it on for 10 minutes and then rinse it off I do not do that I leave it on all night long I go to sleep I sleep on my back so it's fine and I just let it soak into my skin and in the morning when I wake up I just like remove the excess using my over a toner and I just kind of wash my face down in the mornings and then I put on my regular lotion which I didn't bring in here it's just a moisturizer I showed it in my last video 
It's like a, the little blue, it's another Korean skincare brand like this, and they're amazing, and this is so great. It just makes my skin look good. Anyway, so then moving on from that in the mornings as well. Um, sometimes I do this at night too. This is my number seven early defense glow activation serum, and this is before moisturizer. I put this on, and it's like, it feels kind of silicone-y to be honest but it does give you that really nice glowing skin appearance and I, I like it a lot. I do it before my moisturizer at night and in the morning. Um, sometimes I forget at night, but I never forget in the morning. It's just a part of my morning skincare routine. Moving on, we're already at five minutes. This video is gonna be long because I'm not even done with skincare. <laughs> I use a lot of skincare. I use a lot of makeup, so I gotta use a lot of skincare. That's just how it is. So anyway, and I've talked about this guy before, but this is my super love we're running we're using a shit ton right now. This is the Soul Shine Cosmetics Eyelash Serum. And it's a serum and it has a little eye, like mas eye mascara, mascara applicator in there. And you just take it and a shit ton comes off. So I just really push it all off of one side like that. And then you just go do -do -do, do -do -do, do -do -do, and coat your lashes. If I don't wear makeup, I've already worn, put this on today, but I mean, it's not gonna hurt me. If you don't, like the days that I wear makeup, I do not put this under my mascara because I am worried that it make my mascara run because it's very thick. And I just like to like massage it into my lash bed on the top and the bottom. And it's got, I've used this so much that it's gotten to the point now if I don't have it on my lashes, I'm just like, oh, my lashes feel so crusty and dry. I hate the way they feel, but it's phenomenal it says to use twice a day you definitely can if i don't wear makeup i do it twice a day but generally it's just something i do at night because i wear makeup almost every day so i don't put it on under my mascara i don't know if it makes your mascara run but i don't wear waterproof mascara and i don't want to have shit all over my face moving on okay next is another thing that i wear pretty much every time that i don't have makeup on and sometimes under my makeup depending on what i am doing this guy is my new bottle of, the, it's Clearance, you guys know how much I love the brand, Clearance, and it is their anti-pollution plus UV SPF 50 sunscreen. It's just sunscreen, but I love it because it's, it's made by a makeup company and it's a skincare company, so it doesn't like make me greasy and disgusting. It doesn't make me break out. It looks like this. This is my new bottle. And you guys know that I am, I, I've been outside recently and doing stuff, but I gotta have some damn skincare on my body, like some protection because I freckle so bad. Like all these freckles are new because I was like, oh, well, I'm just, I'm outside, I'm on my porch, like it's fine. And then I'm like, look at all these fucking freckles. Like that, I'm getting skin damage. I need to buy some more sunscreen. So I did that, clearance. I love you for making shit like this. And it smells like sunscreen, like that's not a thing. But it's good, and I really like this Clarence sunscreen. I'm putting it back in the box. And I'm one of those people that if I'm not like currently using it, I keep the box. But as soon as I start using it regularly, I throw the box away. This one's brand new, so we're keeping the box. All right, so in the mornings when I put my makeup on, we'll go through my everyday makeup that I reach for no matter what. <laughs> my arm fat says hi. Hi. <laughs> so, um... In the mornings, like my, okay, so it's another thing from the same brand as my water lock face mask. This is the CC cream from that brand that I don't, I can't say that name. I, I, I don't know. It's another um, Korean skincare brand, and this is an illuminating CC cream, and I put it on under my primer every day. Love it. It makes my skin look alive and beautiful. And I think it has some SPF in there. It does. It has SPF 25, so we're keeping us looking good. So this is my favorite CC cream of all time. Holy grail. Moving on to primers. I have a lot of different primers that I like rotate through. Um, I really like one from Clarence. Again, it's called the SOS Primer. And it's color correcting and it's peach. And you can find it eventually. Here it is. And I'm running dangerously low. And it's super dirty because I used to use it every single day. Um, but yeah, it says to minimize signs of fatigue. And I'm always fucking tired. So this is a really good one. It has a nifty little pump. And it pumps out peachy colored and it's really silky when it goes on it isn't sticky at all which is something i really like in a primer to make your skin tacky and this does not um but it smells nice and i like it 
Um, so I definitely use it when I don't need, and it kind of gives you a little bit of a sheen there too, a little illumination. This hand definitely looks more awake than this hand, don't you think? This hand's ready for the day. This hand needs a nap. That's just how I feel. <laughs> so for my primer that I'm using constantly right now, this is a sample size because I wanted to try it first. This is the Scandinavia Primer Mist. And I use this on top of my CC cream, just and it does give you that tacky, this is going to grab on my makeup and make it stay all day effect. And I really like it. And I use it all the time. That is every day. So, yes. Now we're moving to foundation. I have a couple that I've been using on and off really recently, just all the time. But honest to God, like when I tell you what my favorite foundation has been, you guys know I've been using my Estee Lauder. Double wear all the time and I really like it. But this motherfucker right here has, it's just my tried and true. It's just so good. It's the Maybelline Super Stay 24 hour foundation. I am in the shade 110 porcelain and I, I just really like this. Like the way it looks on your skin. I like the way this has its staying power and it dries down semi matte and it's really great. But this guy here has more of like a nap, like your skin but better look. But it does have the full coverage and it is really pretty. So this guy right here is in my holy grails because I just, I can't stop using it. Even when I get expensive, nice foundations, I keep going back to this little $12 guy because I just really enjoy it. It looks really pretty. It has a pump. It's nice. It's got a glass bottle, which is important to me. And um, I really love it. So... That is our Holy Grail foundation. Obviously, our Holy Grail concealer is going to be our Tarte Shape Tape. I've been using this since it came out, and I don't use anything else. Like, I'm not going to pretend that I do because I don't. Like, I will sometimes grab my NYX concealer, the HD concealer, and do my brows really quick. And that's honestly because this is expensive, and I don't want to run out of it. So, this is my go-to. Obviously, number one. Babe. Now, since I got this brush, I have been using it almost exclusively. Occasionally, I'll jump into a beauty blender. You guys know I love a good beauty blender. But this brush is Artiste Smoke Finish Elite Number 7 brush. Oh, my God. It's clean. I just washed it. It's so, it feels so good on your skin. And it's just great. Luckily, my skin is dry and all of that moisturizer is already soaked in. But it just feels, I just like to do this. It just feels nice. It feels nice on my skin. And it's so fast. Like when you're applying your makeup, I'm used to having to just like bounce some of my beauty blender until my arm hurts. For this, I'm just like, done, 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 moving on. And it's phenomenal. And I really like it. But these are really expensive. These are like $50. But RT sent this to me. I would never buy this myself. I know it sounds horrible, but I wouldn't spend $50 on a makeup brush. I have a hard time spending $20 on a beauty blender. So. Moving on <laughs> to uh, powders. I've actually, you know, gone back and forth through some powders. I used Laura Mercier for a really long time and I loved it. But I have been like living and loving for this. It's another Maybelline product. I'm not sponsored by Maybelline, but Maybelline, if you want to sponsor me, hit me up. So this is the Maybelline Fit Me Loose Finishing Powder in the shade Fair. And I love it. I super love it. I apply it with this morphe brush the morphe e48 and it just really packs it under my eyes well and it really helps everything from creasing and i can set the rest of my face with this brush and it just looks really nice like it doesn't like cake up because you guys know i used to be a i still am i still love the cody airspun powder i mean look how dirty this is like this like that is just covered in makeup because i take it and i do use it on clients a lot because it is so like great for oh it smells weird though for like long wear foundation especially if you're oily this is great for you um it does have a little bit of flashback sometimes and it can kind of look a little cakey sometimes so i've really been using that the fit me powder it's great i love it i use the shit out of it holy grail moving on where are we at you think doing your face all different my eyebrows eyebrows okay so yeah so i'm still using the same products for my eyebrows that i've been using for the last like two years so we're still using our Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brows in Soft Brown. I'm going to use this forever. I have other products that I've used here and there. Like I have an X pencil that I like. I really like the LA Splash one. But this is my holy grail. 
I will always buy this and it's so great. Um, I have recently been adding a little bit of beauty oil to my cream products like this and it just makes it like this thing is honestly past its expiration date. I've had it for so long. Let's just be real. It's old as fuck. But when it starts to get a little dry, I just put a couple drops of my uh, Morgan Miller Rose Hip Face Oil. Rose Hip Face Oil. This. Into. Uh, this is amazing for your cream products. I should really mention this. Um, it's the, like I said, Morgan Miller Rose Hip Facial Oil. And it is awesome. For stuff like this, I put it in this to make it go a little bit smoother. I use it in like gel eyeliner that's starting to get a little bit crusty it's perfect just to put on your skin and i really enjoy it very much it's and I, well, I mean obviously i like it i've used almost the whole damn thing it's great love this product holy girl um eyebrows okay and then i would do bronzer which my bronzer y'all i know you're sick of me talking about the physician's formula butter bronzer but i just love it so much like and it smells so good, and I'm so excited for the perfume that comes out that's going to smell like this. It's already out now, actually. It's called Butter Paradise. Not sponsored. I just want it. And this is the best bronzer in the world. This is the shade Light Bronze, which for some reason I have a really hard time finding this shade. Like, I am, like, I'm clearly about to need some, and I'm not going to be able to find it. And I just know I'm not. And that hurts my feelings really bad because I need light bronze because I just put it on with a big fluffy brush. This is the Morphe E3 and I just hit the perimeter to my face, kind of start my contour. And it just makes my skin look so alive and healthy. I guess I could do some swatches. Let's just like look. It's so like natural looking and pretty. You can barely even see that. But it just builds really lovely. It just looks beautiful on the skin. And I love it. I use it every single day. And I have other bronzers that I like. I feel like I'm going to say this all the time. There's other bronzers I like. Like number seven has a really good bronzer that I really enjoy. Uh, Marc Jacobs has a good bronzer that I like. But I, honestly, I don't like anything as much as I like this. And that's just, that's just the truth. It's just the truth. It's chocolate Soleil bronzer from Too Faced. Also great. This one's better in my opinion. I like it better. So, um, for contour... You guys know, I kind of use the same products over and over again. My holy grail for the longest time was the Kat Von D um, Shade and Light Contour Palette because they have a beautiful, cool toned brown. And I'm not going to say that I don't like it just because I've had issues with Kat Von D in the past. But honestly, I'm trying to stop being such a negative person because, like, we've forgiven people for less shit. And she's never apologized, but I feel like she's trying to do better and, like, live a better life. And maybe I don't hate her as much as I used to. I didn't really, I kind of hated her, let's just be real. But I don't even know her. So I'm trying not to be that person that's like, fuck her forever. I'm probably not going to buy her products. I, I just probably won't. Um, but like never say never, I still have the damn contour palette. And I use it sometimes. I like it. But honestly, this has been my, my ride or die here recently. Um, this is the Tartiste Pro Glow on the Go contour book and it has this bronzer shade here called chisel and it looks really pretty it's a little bit more of a warm tone than i am used to but i am a little bit more tan if you're new here this is tan for me so so it does look really good it makes your skin that nice warm glowy bronze prettiness that i like but um i'm also not gonna say that i hate all cat mondays products because i don't and I'm not going to pretend like I don't rock out that contour book because I do. There's nothing I can do. I can't take my money back <laughs> from her. But, like I said, I'm going to try to stop hating. And I'm not going to say her makeup on is shit because it's not. I didn't mean to dive into some drama. So, anyway. Also, one of my go-to highlighters is these guys here. And I do use them all the time. This is the shade Gleam and Burst. Like, look how fucked up this palette is. I use them all the time. Like, this is a more cool toned highlight. But this guy burst this gold i wear this almost every single day let's just do a swatch here both of them like they're both very pigmented very beautiful and i will use this on my whole face and then put a little bit of this just on like the very tops of my cheekbones just to kind of give it that pop and it's really beautiful in your inner corner and it looks really good just on the tip of your nose as well i'm trying i'm just like i'm gonna waste it put it on my face you can't even tell but i love these i use them all the time they're definitely going to have to go in my holy grails. I feel like I'm just naming products I use in every tutorial. But honestly, I, I use them all the time because I love them. And they look so good and they work so well. But I cannot have a holy grail makeup product without talking about the Jeffree Star Skin Frost. 
I have two that I've been using from the dawn of time, and I also have his platinum ice palette that I love. Honestly, like, look how fucked up this is. Like, I have, like, look at it. I use the shit out of this palette, honestly. Ice Cold is one of his first highlighter shades, and I will honestly use it for the rest of my life. It looks so beautiful, but I just need to be a little bit more on the fair side when I use it, because otherwise it gives me, like, like, look at that. I got an exclamation point note, but I, I just don't use it all the time anymore, but I do love it. It's still beautiful. And then I use this shade here that's nice and messed up. It's called Canary Bling. It is very, very yellow, a very yellow tone. It's not really gold. I wouldn't even, it's, it's yellow. Like this is gold. That's yellow, but I really like the way it looks on my skin. I don't know. They're both great. Jeffree Star has the uh, so just amazing palettes, but you can definitely see in this palette like which ones I use all the time and which ones I don't. Not that they're not beautiful, but like this Alien Ice is green, and you can't see like on my finger how green it is. Let me see if I can get a good swatch because it's real green, and it's not that I don't like it because I do like it. It just it's right here. It just doesn't complement my skin tone very well, and it looks green. And the purple ones I like and I use. And this color here, Pink Chill, used to be my favorite one for sure. But the more I use it, the more like, crum like look how crusty and crumbly that is. Just from like running my fingers through it. There's big chunks of it on my hand. And it's beautiful and it looks pretty. It just takes a little bit of extra work. Put it right there on my arm. See, it's got that beautiful like pink shift to it. But it's a bit crumbly. It's a bit messy. So I don't use it that much anymore. That's just very brown. It's beautiful. Don't use it that much. And like the silver one I don't use at all unless I'm doing like a crazy makeup look. And lavender ice, the purple one I don't use at all. I probably never used it. Sorry. Moving on. Um, holy grail. Oh, eyeshadow palette. Okay. You I got this in a boxy charm and I have talked like cash money shit about this brand for so long because I've just never been obsessed with their products. I just really haven't been obsessed with them. I haven't. And, but then they brought out this fucking palette. It's the ColourPop You Had Me At Hello palette. And I've only had this for like two weeks and look how busted and crusted it is because I have used it every single day since they sent me in a boxy charm. Sorry ColourPop, I talked a bunch of shit about you. But this palette is my lifeblood. I use it all the time, every day. It's got, I mean, even if I'm just putting this color in my inner corner, it's still just, I use it every single day. I use one color out of this palette every freaking day. And another one that I use every day that we're going to have to talk about that I've mentioned in a thousand videos is my Jeffree Star palettes. Look how busted up this one is. It's old. I got it the day that it launched years ago. Like, it is busted. They're both dirty because I travel with them and I use them on my clients whenever I do traveling makeup. So for this Beauty Killer palette, obviously I use China White every single day to set my concealer and then I use the shade Courtney most days as a transition shade. As of late, I have switched over to the ColourPop color here. The shade is, is Moon, no it's not. Two piece of pop Moonstruck, yeah it does. Moonstruck, this brown color here, I use that as a transition color. Now, like most of, since I've gotten it, I've used it most of the time. But this, these two are obviously my faves. I don't really fuck with the rest of the palette that much, just honest. But those two shades, I have to have forever. And then the um, Androgyny palette, I still use quite a bit. This color Safe Word is a beautiful contour, beautiful contour shade. I use the shade Frosting so much, so you can, it's gone. Like I use it as a highlight, inner corner, brow bond, if I just want, a little bit of drama, I'll just dust on that Moonstruck from the ColourPop palette and then pop on Frosting, which looks like this, right on my lid and then I'm done. And it's beautiful. Like, look how beautiful that shit. Can you even, why do I do that on my wrist where you can't see it? Because I'm double jointed. Okay. So yeah, it's cute. It's pretty. It's very gold. And I love it. And I love all these shadows. I use these orange. This top row is what I use all the time. Occasionally I dip into these two here. Very rarely do I use the blue um, and androgyny. I've used a handful of times. Um, I just don't do a lot of purple looks anymore, and I used to do them all the time. I'm kind of getting back into them. But the shade Poison and Swallow, the other day I posted on Instagram wearing blue eyeshadow, and that's what I was wearing from these girls. They'll always be loves in my life. They are never left out of my kit when I go somewhere. Okay, so we've done that. Now, where are we at? Eyeliner? 
eyeliner. So, my two faves for eyeliner. I love this. It's an LA Splash. It's called Architect Slim Waterproof Liner. It is a brush tip and it is teeny tiny. And it's so, this one's like out completely. Like that. But look how not pigmented it is because it's, I'm just out of it. It's, it's done. I need to buy a new one. But I keep it because it's really cute and it looks nice in my little jar. Oh, so uh, one of my followers a uh, year or so ago made me this and I'm obsessed with it. Contour Sleep Repeat and the other side says contour that shit because apparently that's something I used to say all the time. Um, it definitely sounds like me. But I keep my makeup brushes in this and I always have and I always fucking will because it's beautiful and the girl who made this for me is an angel sent from God. So moving on. Um, another eyeliner that I'm super obsessed with right now is yet another ColourPop product. I used the last of it the other day. This is the ColourPop Cream Gel Liners in the shade Periwinkle, and it looks so beautiful right in your little waterline. It's so cute, and they have a nude one, too, called Cantaloupe, I want to say. I threw it away because I ran out of it, too, but these are only, like, five bucks. I just, honest to God, haven't gotten around to ordering more. It's a big deal for me to repurchase makeup because... I get a bunch, so I just kind of move on from things. But this is one of those that I would definitely buy again, and I will as soon as I can fucking remember to do it. And I don't know where my other liquid liner is that I wanted to talk about because I used it the other day and I never put things back where I find them. Anyway, it is the Cat Eye Felt Tip Liner from Tarte. And I have a travel size one that I got like as a free gift with purchase, and I use it all the time. Absolutely love it. It's beautiful. So, what else? What else? Mascara. I use the same eyelash curler that I've been using for like 100 years. It's a Revlon one. It's nothing special. And I, everybody always asks me, like, what's your eyelash curler? It's Revlon. It came from Walmart. It was just the cheapest one that didn't look like shit. <laughs> and then I bought it. And I like it. I still use it every day. But my holy grail mascara love of my life here is the Lash Warrior by Flower Beauty. This was sent to me. It was free. But they are not expensive. You can buy it at Walmart. I think it's like 10 bucks and I use it every single day every day it makes my lashes look so nice it helps them stay curled and they look beautiful and it is super super black so I don't know I love it I use it all the time I don't really wear falsies every now and then I'll throw some on but I don't have to because of my lash grow and this mascara so that's pretty much it this is my baby I love it it looks so good it's got like a, I'll open it and show it to you. I don't know why I'm being stingy. So it's got like a comb applicator that's like bent slightly. If you can see anything besides all the highlighter on my hand. But I use it like, a, it looks like a scoop, you see. But I use it this way as like I push my lashes up. I don't scoop them, if that makes sense. And it works really well. And I really like it. So the next thing, probably the last two things I will talk about, the... It's going to be my setting spray. You guys know I'm a tried and true lover forever of my Makeup Forever All Nighter setting spray. And I will always love it. I still have some. It's on the floor. I can't reach it. So, but you know what it looks like. I use it all the time. And my new love right now is this Scandinavia Makeup Finishing Spray. And it works so well. I'll spray it on my face and then I use like the flat side of this real technique sponge and I just press it into my skin it doesn't disrupt my makeup it doesn't move my contour but my makeup will look good all day you guys know i work 12 hour shifts i'm always gone i leave my house at 5 30 in the morning and i get back to my house at like nine o'clock at night and my makeup still looks good because of this i love it i use this the same brand of the primer spray that i use none of my stuff has tops because i take the tops off and i throw them away honestly that's what i do because they get in the way i'm always in a hurry so this guy here love it We'll buy this forever. And then the last thing I want to talk about today, because we're fucking going to have a 30-minute video, and I'm sorry, is this Ofra Mineral mineral Shimmer and White Diamonds. Like, look, can y'all see how much glitter is falling out of this for me just, like, poking it? It's super messy. But it is my favorite thing for my, like, body. I put it on my shoulders. I put it on my chest every day. Every single day. I've even gone so far as to taking a travel size um i wonder if i can even find it i doubt it but anyway we'll use this as an example a travel size setting spray 
just whatever brand right now, it's this one, actually. Ha ha. The Tarte Rainforest of the Sea setting spray. And what I did was I scooped some of this, put it in here. So whenever I want to do like have some glitter, some shine on my chest or my body, I spray it on with this. And it gives me just that subtle glowy sheen, but it doesn't get everywhere because it's mixed in with setting spray and it holds everything down and it looks really nice and this is something i would do for like my no makeup looks so i would throw on my um my mind went blank sunscreen and then do a little ch -ch -ch and just have a little nice like radiant shine with just a little bit of glitter which you can't see and i'm not sure why you can't see it but it's i can see it when i'm looking at my own shoulders and stuff it's just not showing up great on camera you guys hear my dogs barking directly outside this window of all the windows in this house. They're going to bark right there. But that's fine. We're almost done. So, this is it. That's what I use anyway. i give it a quick spray because I'll have that cute little smear. I look cute right now. But it doesn't get everywhere because it's stuck in the setting spray. Brilliant. So it works. So anyway, you guys, that is it. That is my holy grail. So if you guys would like me to do one with like brush. Oh, blush. I almost forgot my blushes. So you guys know this blush. I talk about it all the time. It's my absolute favorite. This is the Milani Luminoso blush. It is this peach, beautiful. It's got a little shimmer. It's so like gorgeous with my skin tone. I'm obsessed with it. I've been wearing this for years. Years. Yeah, like, look how dirty this is. Like, the whole, everything is torn up on it because I use it all the time. Because I love it. I promise I'm done. I was, like, rushing to get through this, and I feel like I'm talking over myself. But, <sighs> we are here. The last product, I know I've said this is the last product, like, ten times, but I forgot a lip product. Um, any of the Jeffree Star Cosmetics liquid lipsticks are definitely my faves. And then I also really like the Ofra liquid lipsticks. Right now, I'm really into the shade. I don't have it with me because it's in my purse because I use it all the time. Uh, I'm nude from Jeffree Star and they also have butt naked which I wear all the time which is a more pink tone and then I use the shade Hunty which is the more like camel brown color and it's beautiful. I wear it all the time. So that's it. I promise I'm done. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it and you feel so inclined, you can give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel and be a member of the Unicorn Army. Um, if you want to follow me on Instagram, my username is GrungeXGlitter. You can follow me on Facebook at Grunge and Glitter KP, which is me. And you can follow me on Snapchat, which I never really post. It's just Grunge X Glitter. So, thank you guys so much for hanging out with me. Enjoy my Squirtle shirt. Squirtle shirt. Squirtle shirt. And have a great day. Thank you. Goodbye.